Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all oh, lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on it the purest of white light and pray that you reside only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is a final. I believe these witches and warlocks are on me today. They don't got around doing their little rituals, trying to F up my energy, but it ain't working. You know what? Keep on sending the energy. It's being transmuted over here. Is it a full moon, new moon? Baby, they're on my tail. <laughs> It's a mother sucker out here that's pissed off. He said, I'm going to piss her off. Oh, you think we ain't doing nothing? You think this is a joke? This little biash thing is a joke. Got me fucked up. <laughs> oh, it's somebody out here that got it out for me, you all. But I don't care. My ancestors are covering me. Look at this. Would you look at this? King of Swords, you're just out here all exposed. This is a mother sucker here trying to put an end to someone's uh, healing. Someone may be going through a recovery or something. He's out here trying to tamper with their energy. Are you coming for moi or somebody else? Because it seems like we're reciprocating the same energy in here. Well, I'm good, but he don't look so good. I saw you the last three coming towards this King of Cups, and I told him that they were sending someone to him. To, you know, fool him, manipulate him. I guess he didn't listen. There him go in the reverse now. He was in the upright in the last reading, but apparently he didn't listen. You didn't listen, so you didn't listen. You didn't listen. They don't put an end to your st stable energy. You was doing just well. You was climbing up that ladder of healing, going through an ascension, and then you let this mother sucker. Baby, when I tell you this is exactly how the cards came out, this king of swords was headed towards this king of cups to give him some type of false friendship to sneak him. Look at that. <laughs> he got what he wanted. I told him, folks, I told this King of Cups in, I think, two readings ago. Yeah, two readings ago, I told him there is a King of Swords coming towards him with a false friendship, false offer. I don't know if it's his, if he, if it's his lover, his friend, brother, whoever. I told you this man was coming towards you to give you some, yeah, some type of offer. So you wouldn't go in and give an impressed energy a genuine offer that was going to put you in an abundant energy. Okay, help you heal. This was a whole Queen of Cups you were headed towards. That is what? protected by the spirit realm you didn't listen you took some type of advice from a manipulative king of swords these are the kind of people mm -hmm, they put on a show when they need something from you they know how to milk you they know how to milk you till there ain't no more milk left there's no more milk and then they say okay hasta la vista adios au revoir et salut <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> That's what he did to this King of Cups. Damn, I'm telling you, I split my deck. It went right on the hanging man. Uh, this is a prophecy uh, that has come through. I warned you, sir. I said it could be sending a king. You, 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 you remember what I had said? Do you remember what I had said, sir? I said it could be sending you a King of Swords to give you some type of disingenuous offer. There him go, emotionally imbalanced, emotionally unstable. Someone is not maturing like they're supposed to. Someone is just a big number out here. But when it comes to maturity, he is a little boy. He's a real boy. Pinocchio looking behind. I'm telling you, he is a real boy. I'm a real boy. But a whole immature man sitting in some type of high seat. Don't know what he's doing, pretending to be in the upright, been manipulating people his whole life. 
been manipulating people his whole life. Someone's very deceitful, conniving. Everything he does, there's some type of arterial motives. Someone is mentally, un baby, I said mentally unstable, split my deck, and the eight of swords came out. Mentally unstable, emotionally unstable, disingenuous friendship, don't got nothing to offer. But I warned you. Mm. I want you, collective, these people are on my tail. They said, we got to shut this mother effer up. We are sick of her. And the whole family is fighting behind the scenes. They say, we got to figure out a way to shut her up. She keeps telling too much. She won't use, she, she was not this work before. What the heck is going on? Let me tell y'all what is going on. I've got out here, did my thing. <laughs> Actually put in the work to learn what I needed to learn. Watch other tarot readers. I know you all be in my phone seeing what it is I'm watching. Trying to keep up with who I'm watching so you can know what I know. But what I know comes from a source so it's in my mental. But I be watching other readers too to stay updated on what the heck is going on in the spirit realm. Because those are news reporters too. I'm a news reporter. There are news reporters, so I got to turn on their channels and watch them to get the full one one to get the scoop from their side of the universe. Mm -hmm. So I give my side too. So we're all doing our job. Hello, but you all be knowing who I'm watching. That's why you are on their platforms. <coughs> you thought I didn't know. <coughs> Maybe when I tell you they've been out here cutting up my uh, like this. Uh oh, you know, you got a strong internet connection and they just. Push. It just goes down. You're making a phone call and it just <laughs> disconnects. I'm like, God dang. They, are are y'all this press about little old me? Just a minding my business. No friends, no family, nothing. Just a me minding my business, doing my work. You're bothered by that. I do have family in, in another state now. But, you know, just little old me. You're bothered at your age? Come on. Come on now. What's going on? Let's get into the nitty gritty, baby. Everything, everything is in the reverse. Why? Because this King of Swords here, he got involved. He don't went to a King of Cups that was in the process of healing and balancing things out in his life. And he gave him some type of speech of a lifetime. He said, I'm telling you, whoever that Queen of Pentacles is that you want to partner up with, she ain't worth a dime. You know why he's saying that? Because he's bothered by a woman that knows more than he does. He's been playing a role his whole life. He came across the Queen of Pentacles that's actually doing the work. And he said, uh-uh, I'm going to destroy her. Someone's acting out of ego, okay? So it may not even be that the woman that this King of Cups wanted to go to is in the reverse, it's just like this is how he's pinning her out to be. There is also a disingenuous Queen of Pentacles in here. Did I say Queen of Cups? Oh, yeah. So whoever you wanted to go to was a Queen of Cups. And you listen to this buffoonery here that don't got nothing going on. All he cares about is money, does things to just to be accepted at his age, don't have a mind of his own. You're crazy, Queen. You're crazy. Anyways... There's something in here where it's like someone was expecting to get some type of offer from a masculine and it turns out that they're not getting that offer. Like there's some type of family dynamic that is over because there's just too much chaos. There's too much dishonesty. Someone's ha someone has done a little bit too much, too much out here and they thought they were going to get away with it. They've been out here tampering with people's lives, people's resources, lying on people, trying to end people, take people out, everything. Baby, this chapter of karmics, karmic in and karmic veil is over. Keep it in karma land because this healer is closing this chapter out successfully. These people got to know that you, collective, you have something coming towards you. Because you know that's how the enemy be, right? When you got something beautiful that's coming your way, that's when they imp up their tactics, their devious ways, their maliciousness, their spitefulness. That's when they imp up the attacks. You see how we started out with the Ten of Swords? That means, baby, they've been sitting and just waiting for their moon to show its round, beautiful self in wholeness, in fullness. And they say, it's time to strike. Right. Oh, they've been prepping. May have started three days ahead of time, but it still ain't working. Maybe started 10 days ahead of time, sending you energies, but it's not working. 
He said, the, the heck is going on? He's still, listen, this King Queen of Cups is still huge, balanced, maintaining her energy. What the heck is going on? That's because some ancestors is taking care of business out here. What? Someone is in perfect alignment with their ancestors. Oh, and this is a commitment, commitment. Can nobody hinder this? Okay. It can nobody hinder. It's like, what the heck is going on? Nothing is working. Who is this Queen of Cups? You told us you knew this Queen of Cups. What is going on? <laughs> they lied to you. They said they had an expert. They went to a whole expert on you, Queen of Cups. <laughs> Not the expert that want to work with them. They said, uh, excuse me. Yeah, I don't want to be part of this no more. She don't left them out in the cold. She's burdened because she knows something's about to backfire. Or if it's a man, he knows it's a tower. Oh, it's a tower coming. Heartbreak Hotel. Heartbreak Motel. Ooh. You were supposed to get something collective. And they went in and tarnished your new beginning. Or caused some type of tower in your new beginning. And someone is about to be going through the same thing. Queen of Wands. Didn't I tell you to sit your behind down some readings? A few readings, actually. I've been told you to sit your behind. Sit your raggedy behind down is what I done told you a few times. Look at you now. Look at you. You want to argue with someone you're competing with where you don't compare. And they ain't even giving you the time of the day. They said, hmm? Who? Oh, I thought somebody said something. They didn't say nothing. Baby, you out here in distress trying to steal what does not belong to you. Because this is you 24-7, but you want people to see you in this energy, in this energy. You want someone to give you uh, some type of romantic offer. You've been painting yourself out to be someone that's nurturing, kind, family, material. Baby, you're going through a tower because this cycle of pretending to be what you are not is over. Baby, I'm telling <laughs> It's over now. <laughs> you feel that you can make it. Baby, the storm ain't over. It's just the beginning. You about to be exposed out here with your partners in crimes. You may end up on the news. And say, oh, that's what Melissa has been up to behind the scenes. We thought she was gifted. We thought she was an empress. You mean to tell me Melissa don't have, does not have any gift? Oh, those rich folks are about to be, are about to be clutching their invisible bars. Said, oh, I am appalled. Melissa, you lied to us. You misled us. Melissa, girl. It's a tower. You tried to cause a tower in someone else's life and that sucker backfired real quick, didn't it? The only thing is, oh, the terror readers have been telling you, don't do it. Stay in your lane. Everybody has a lane. You didn't listen. Now, look at you. Look at you. And look at you, baby girl. Girl, listen, I had this dream. Melissa, this may be you. I had a dream. There's a woman stalking another woman out here. And then Melissa is just trapped in her head about what a queen of swords is saying. And it's healing people, clearing things up. People are out here seeing a queen of swords as the truth. Melissa has been pretending to be the truth, but... Melissa, you know, girl, you've been playing games out here and you got to move on. Girl, you got to move on. You're going to have to cut your loss and move on. At this time, you are playing Russian roulette with your future. I don't know if you have a son somewhere. I saw something about a, a, a kid in a wheelchair in one of my dreams. So maybe that is you or someone else in Karmic, Karmic Land, Karmicville. But it's someone out here with a son that's in a wheelchair wishing him well. Anyways... I had a dream. It's a woman out here stalking another woman, going to your old sc the schools you used to go to. When I say in my dream, I saw the, the 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 divine feminine. She went to her school, and they were telling her. They said, "Hey, this woman came here asking questions about you. We didn't think it was okay. It was kind of weird, but." The divine feminine was at now why why is she asking questions about me? And she's and then the, the teacher or whoever it was said, Don't worry about it. It's just maybe it's just some crazy woman. 
She said, no, 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 no. This been coming from me for a long time. It's about to go down. She said, no, nah, I got to handle this because I'm sick and tired of these people. Whole time, Melissa, maybe this was you. Whole time, Melissa is out here stalking someone, going to their schools, their friends, their families to get information on them, to make them look away that they are not. Melissa got problems going on with her kid. Melissa is neglecting her kid and stuff. I'm like, Melissa, girl, you got bigger fish to fry. You don't got time to be worrying about divine feminine out here. You got bigger fish to fry. And you worried about what divine feminine is saying. And it's keeping you up late at night. And you're trying to figure out how you can what? End her? Girl, you got bigger fish to fry. It's some type of court proceeding going on with a kid. Yeah, it's, yeah, with a kid. I don't know if she was, you, girl, you, girl, you can't be neglecting these babies out here. They're the next generation. They're the future. Girl, look at you just out here on, <laughs> struggling. Welcome to the struggle club. You and your partner in crime just are struggling. This is a King of Cups reverse. I think this is someone you know about. Been helping you behind the scenes. Maybe he was supposed to be the expert. He was supposed to one, be the one taking action to go and talk to a king of pentacles and let him know how a divine feminine or a divine masculine is not so divine. He'll be making the worst mistake of his life if he partners up with the divine feminine or the divine masculine. But guess what, Melissa and Billy? Uh-huh. They're still going to be doing it. They're still going to be communicating. He is going to be telling her, I'm so sorry. I feel so embarrassed for how I treated you. Whether it's a man or a woman, baby, there is going to be balancing things out. Okay? There will be meeting in divine timing. This is not a meeting that you are going to be able to block. Because it's going to be something that's coincidental. You know, ain't nothing coincidental in the universe. Melissa, and this is your future, okay? A sister you've been coming after, baby. She's coming out of the cold and headed right into living her best life. Hey, she ain't going back and forth with you people. She's living her best life. Listen, a sister's about to be out here with a whole contract, whatever this contract is, universally. Mm -hmm. Working her little behind of enjoying what she does. People admiring her work, asking her questions. This could be a divine masculine as well. Asking her questions. Like, honey, how you do that? How you do that there? Hey, how you do that there? Honey, whatever this new moon, full moon, bro, what is? I am loving it. It's all positive energy. Because these people have been trying to staff in my energy for four days now. Is that we want her to be chaotic. We want her to be burdened. We don't want her taking action. We don't want her being balanced. But you're still, baby, I'm still balanced and going for my dreams. <laughs> yeah. And then Melissa, Billy, whoever you are, you're pissed up because the collective is still moving forward. Maybe whoever you all are that's on my tail, keep it up. Keep it up. It's enough. It's, it's nice entertainment. Y'all know I don't got a life. I don't got no life, folks. I don't have a life. I do tarot, school, job, and kids. Nothing else. <laughs> I don't have a life. <laughs> Ooh, trying to cross a tower to a healer. Who is this healer, baby? Come on. <clears throat> Come on, everything is exposed. All the lies, the toxicity, the stealing, you trying to control someone's direct. Melissa, you got some audacity. You got some audacity. You don't even have authority in your, you don't even know who you are and you're trying to block someone's happiness, someone's path, someone's abundance. You're trying to hold on to someone's, what? Girl, sit down somewhere. Sit down. You don't got spiritual clearance anywhere. Your ancestors don't even fool with you. They, they don't let you out in the cold. They say, mm, 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 mm. No, we, we told her. We told her we didn't want no part of this. Your ancestors don't wash their hands off you like Pontius Pilate did Jesus. They brought him that bucket of water, girl. He said, mm. He washed it for a good five minutes to make sure it wasn't nothing on there. He said, tower. They gave him the tower. He dried his hands. He, you know, did that air dry. 
and he was deuces. He said, I'm out. That's your ancestors. <laughs> Because you just don't get it. you still out here trying to destroy someone's strength. He said, keep going. If we just go a little longer, he's going to stop going forward. He's going to stop working. She's going to stop working. Melissa, honey, we, we hit to be the bearer of bad news to you. <laughs> it's disappointment for you. It's disappointment. Because guess what? That king of pentacles you've been trying to block from moving forward. Him, him. Him is still moving forward, darling. Him is still moving forward. Him don't got to be with that divine feminine you're jealous of. But him is going to be moving forward. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's taking a new path. He said, uh, Melissa, girl, this is it. This is it. You know how Michael Jackson did his little dance on the stage? Talking about, this is it. You remember the, the CD with that cover? Yeah. That pose. <laughs> That's what that King of Pentacles is. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's that pose <laughs> that King of Pentacles is doing in the bathroom. Talking about, girl, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> he can't even take himself serious. I'm telling you. He said, this is it, Melissa. It's the end of the road because he knows the truth. I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles knows the truth about what you've been doing to deter someone's strength. You said, we got to stop her. She's showing up. We cannot let this girl, this guy be out in the public eye. They're going to know I'm not the truth. Girl, you, they, they know you ain't the truth. <laughs> They know. I don't know. You you think hiding a couple of terror readers is going to block the truth from coming out? It's not. It's not. Been stealing from people. That's why you're blocking platforms and things like that. Blocking people. It's where, girl, these terror readers, these cre content creators, they're about to be out here like this. Moving forward with victory and a lot of options. And this is going to be you trying to figure out, oh, what do I do now? Oh, girl, you're going to have to live in your truth. You don't even know what that is because you don't even know who you are. You don't even know who you are. You try to come to where someone you've been trying to destroy to do what? Apologize, girl. Apologize where? And you, girl, apologize where? No, nobody wants that apology. I can tell you now, if it was me in that predicament, I don't want your apology. Sit down somewhere with your raggedy behind. That apology ain't worth a dime. Anyways, this is Melissa. Melissa don't know which way to go. Melissa is losing her mind out here. Melissa wanted you to be confused, crazy, out of balance, but you're not. Instead, Melissa is the one. Everything she and her pals have been doing behind the scenes is all out in the open. She thought it was going to be hidden forever. She don't went and paid a whole lot of money. Girl, you paid a whole lot of money, didn't you? I know you did because... How determined you were in the dream. I know you paid someone. You paid some good, good money to people to block something. Lied about someone. It was a whole collaboration. Girl, how much did you pay? You need to sit down and do that math like Medea be doing in the movie. What did you come up with? Girl, you about to be having insufficient funds like myself here with that little $4. You know, I know every day I got $4 in my bank account. And when I, when I leave at my ripe old age of 103, mm -hmm, $1 goes to my older son, $1 goes to the middle child, $1 goes to the uh, 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 the third kid. And if I'm married by then, the, the fourth dollar goes to the spouse if he's alive. If he's not alive, they go to charity. If they don't go to charity, then each of them just get $1.33 each. <laughs> I left them something, folks. You can't say I didn't do nothing. I try. <laughs> but everything you all have been collaborating, orchestrating, is all exposed. No, nobody like anybody in that group from what I'm seeing. You all can't stand each other. There's no friendship. I'm telling you, ain't no friendship. Nothing. 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 It's the end of the road for you, Melissa. It's the, I'm telling you, it's the end of the road. You out of options. It's time to cease fire. You know how those people used to do in the wartime? 
the, the seeds fire, they, they throw up the white flag. Girl, go ahead and girl, go ahead and wave that white flag. Like seeds fire, seeds fire, seeds fire. <laughs> I need to find my white flag. <laughs> cease, girl. You got to speak it. Say, cease fire, everybody. I can't do this no more. This heifer get on my nerves. Whoever you're after, just tell them. I can't do it no more. I'm trapped. I can't find a way out of here. It's true. I am toxic. You worry about the truth coming out about you, girl. It's already out. It's out. It's out. Everything you were plotting on someone. Go into different communities to find the truth out about someone that you don't know and don't know you. Don't give two Fs about you because they don't know you. Even if they knew you, they wouldn't give two Fs about you or what you got going on in your life. Because you're one of those. Girl, I can't even do it. You know one of those. I am better. I am Melissa, queen of irrelevant land. You shall not speak to me unless you are spoken to Whole time you be on your knees shaking that ASS for Drake. Girl, you gotta stop it. Humble thyself. Humble thyself before the, you know who it is, before source. Okay, before Ra, I'm on Ra. You see the person you're trying to block? Girl, they're out here protected by Ra. Ra said, I wish you would touch my sister. <laughs> I wish you would touch my brother. I wish you would. That's all right. It's staring at behind her. He said, listen, Melissa, girl, I've been patient with you. I go up. I rise up every morning and I go down, set. I rise up every And I keep seeing you coming after my peeps. And I keep giving you chances. Every day that I rise is a chance for you to take a different path and stop Effing up and pissing me off, girl. You don't piss off Ra, Osiris, Isis. You've been coming after an Isis energy. Osiris is sitting back and watching you like, I am so sick of this mother effer here. Anubis is coming up. <laughs> Everybody's coming up. Girl, you got everybody fold up. <laughs> I got to <laughs> You got everybody fold up. <laughs> they say you, you don't have to be wanted too many ways, Melissa. We've been patient enough with you, so it's time. This is why this is happening to you. It's the end of the road, Melissa. You, you had choices. You had options. You had options. But you chose to dis. Look at you, Melissa. Look at the whole group. Look at the whole group. The whole family is in disarray. Don't know which way to go. They say, this is strong magic. We prepped for this. Why is this not working? They don't went and hired a whole king of swords <laughs> or knight of swords, whoever a swords that is, to do some heavy ritual, heavy, mag heavy magic. I'm talking heavy, heavy, sending you heart spells, everything collective. And then you got the audacity to be rolling over turning over to the other side on your bed or your couch <laughs> talking about ah, that's it <laughs> boy this car makes me pissed off I bet it be pissed off when they watch my channel so this month this be the I'll be hearing so listen I hear someone calling me a B all the time this B don't take nothing serious. She thinks it's a joke. I'm going to show her. It ain't no mother having joke. I'm sick. Of, mm -hmm. She thinks it's a joke. I'm going to show her what's funny. Girl. Whole time collective is like, okay. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> as soon as you strike, <laughs> the whole team of gods, they just uh, descend on that behind. It's a, look, I said descend, right? <laughs> this is descend. Let me put it upright. <laughs> they just descend from the heavens above. They say, hello, did you call? <laughs> and Melissa said, no, 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 no. No, I didn't call. I did not call at all. I didn't call. He said, no, we are 100% sure, Melissa, that you did call. No, I didn't call. Yeah. Melissa, this is Isis. Yeah, Melissa, because Isis don't play. 
Melissa, yeah, when you came after one of our pod members, yeah, you called us. What's up? What's good? Melissa, what's good? Melissa said, oh, <clears throat> nothing. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I, I, I fold up. That's all. I fold up. Just, just, just walk away. <laughs> I told you, Melissa thinks she's better than everybody. Melissa be looking from up, above, down on her imaginary subjects that she's better than. <laughs> I am Melissa, queen of irrelevant land. You shall not speak to me unless you are spoken to. <laughs> Melissa, when would this be? Is it when you're on your knees or on your knees or on your back? Which one would this be? Is it when you're pretending to be better than us? Or when would that be, Melissa? When will it be? You got to humble thyself before their, thy ascendant masters. Okay? Can't be out here pretending to be gifted and you don't got no gifts. Can't be out here pretending to be a high priestess and you didn't put in the work. Can't be out here pretending to be an a, a empress and you did not put in the mother effing work, Melissa. I don't listen, 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 Linda, Linda, listen, Melissa. I predicted your future. Listen, the prophecy is here, and these prophecies that I predict, you may want to take time and go down my timeline. Mm. Go down my channel. Everything that's happening and it's about to happen has been predicted. You see how we started with this King of Cups here? Now he's in the reverse. Because we warned him two videos ago or three videos ago not to accept any offers from this mother sucker here. Uh-huh. But he did. Now look at him. I heard in the reverse and stuck. Stuck. Stuck, stuck. I mean, he's stuck, stuck. He's stuck, stuck like destiny. Because destiny cannot be undone. Stuck. There he's stuck like you and your family and your friends. Mm. He ain't doing too good. Why are you out here mad because the truth is out? People know the truth about what you've been doing, girl. How did you think this was going to go? You can't be out here destroying people's lives and things like that. Girl, you, you, you mad, mad. You can't be out here mad because things ain't going your way. Because the way you go about getting things in life is just, it's not right. You got to manipulate. You got to deceive. You got to lie, cheat, steal. Nothing about you is authentic. You see how this is going out for you? Got that ten of swords right up on you. And now you're, di uh, you're throwing a fit, girl. This ain't the time to be throwing a fit. You're stuck. You better be out here working for everything. Just like everybody else you use to... Hold your nose up on it. Like, oh, I smell S H I T. Do you smell that? And everybody else around you will be looking at you like, no, no, no. That's just Karen coming to say hello. Why are you being that way? Ugh, I can't stand broke people. Girl, you about to know what it's like. Look at you. <laughs> you don't got no month. Oh. Apparently, you don't got no money. Like myself here. You got $4 too? Girl. <laughs> you got $4 too? Oh, dang. Apparently, you don't got no money. That's been illuminated to the group. You've been telling them, making them false promises. Is that what had happened, girl? Sister girl, if there's anything I've learned from being out here in the world on my own is that you don't spend money that you don't have. I've been on my own since I was 18 and I've learned, girl, you don't spend a penny that you don't have. You know how I learned that? I learned that the hard way. At 18, 19, 20 years old, I learned not to spend what I didn't have. So since then, I cut that sucker out. Girl, you cannot. If your mom didn't teach you, I'll teach you. Don't ever spend money that you don't have. That's how you end up in debt and stuff like that. Okay? Girl, what you doing out here promising people money that you don't have? Talking about when I get this position, when he gives me this ring. <clears throat> Girl, he don't even want the ring to come out. <laughs> what <had> happened? <laughs> he changed his mind, changed his mind, and it's final. <laughs> 
He don't even want ring to come out. <laughs> you went and told these people, when I get this ring and we get married, I'm going to give you this money. Or you, maybe you two are supposed to have a business together. You're going to give them a position. Girl, you made, uh, made a lot of promises to these people. Didn't you? Now they're finding out you don't got no money. Dang, Melissa. Oh, girl, they find out you don't got no money and you just trapped in karmic and toxic as can be. Now they're all trapped in something they can't get out of. That's why they should have made better choices. Maybe now they're deciding to let go. Oh, yeah, they're choosing to be practical now. The group, the group, the group is on fire. We don't, <laughs> listen, let me stop being petty. Melissa, the group. They are starting to self-actualize because they're realizing that they are trapped. And so they are deciding to be practical about this situation here. Girl, you are, you said you are going to have this king of pentacles by any means necessary. You say he is going to believe that I am the empress. That's a lie. That's a lie. It's a lie. I don't know if this is a king of wands as well. Maybe we don't care. Just as long as you know, somebody behind the scenes is pissed off with you because of the lengths you went through. You went to, let me correct my English, you know, we're uneducated over here. I think that's what you said, that you're the one with the degree and, you know, you be talking about terror readers, like they're uneducated or something, talking about, I've got a degree, I'm educated. Your education didn't teach you common sense not to be on your knees, but okay. Um... And not to go invading people's privacy so that you could be seen as the better option. Your education didn't teach you how to be content with thyself. Okay. I taste a little bit of saltiness with that coming out, folks. Okay, anyway, back back to the read. Anyway, Melissa, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's somebody behind the scenes of you that's about sick and tired of your nonsense. Because they're seeing you and they're knowing that you're not the real deal. You're working with a high priestess. She keeps trying to hide her face. Every time I see her, she jumps back in the deck. I'm like, girl, I see you. I see you. You may want to disconnect. You may want to discontinue this, whatever it is you have with Melissa. You may want to discontinue because you're about to be burdened out here. Way down. Trapped with Melissa. You better not be out here telling lies and misusing your gifts because you're gonna have to have an you're gonna have to have answers to give when everything comes out. Because there's an investigation going on. Mm, girl, I'm telling you, this he he he's done. I told you that. I told you. Friend, I told you. I told you. I said he's done. He's moving on. I told you, Melissa. I told you. I've been told you like Many, many readings ago, consistently in readings that like he's done. He said he's done. I don't know if this is someone you were working with or this is someone you've been trying to force to be with you, see you in a light that's not yours. Girl, <clears throat> he's done, done. He's going to be meeting with someone in divine timing. Knows the truth about who you are, what you've been doing, what the whole group has been doing, by the way. Another prophecy is about to come through. Someone is sick, maybe passing away, hopefully not. We ain't here to be speaking illnesses on people or deaths on people. But listen, <laughs> apparently my ancestors are telling me, yes, somebody is sick. Emperor, there's an emperor that's sick. And he's in distress. We can't help you, sir. You made your bed. Got to lay in. I don't have remorse for dark workers because sometimes you sit back and see the length these people go to to destroy other people. I'm telling you. And it's just, you just see them taking action. You already know how it's going to end. But their narcissism and the fact that they binded themselves to some nonsense of an oath. Oath. Oh, I got to work on my English because Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Melissa, girl, I know I'm, I know we ain't as educated as you are. You ain't got your education. Mm-hmm. Anyways, Melissa, so they be binded to, you know, these oaths and things like that. So they got to keep going with things they don't want to be part of. But, and they, they always knew at some, at some point they find out. <clears throat> yeah. 
It's a man out here, King of Pentacles. Maybe this is the one that's coming towards someone. He's out here in distress, feeling remorse, disappointed, embarrassed for working with these people. There's an emperor that's sick behind the scenes. There's an empress that's sick behind the scenes. Maybe somebody's about to go back home. It's been a long day without you. Well, I can't say my friend because y'all ain't my friends. So I don't know y'all. I don't know ya. Oh, damn. 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 King of Pentacles, who are. Oh, baby. He is burning. Man, he is having a hard time. Can have a new beginning. Worry. And he's trapped with these people. Baby, we told. Like, we don't told you all. Don't do this. They're all worried because something is being balanced out. You get your new beginning collective. You get your abundance. You get your love, your fulfillment in life. And they get their karma that they got to pay back. What was it? You thought you were going to do some, huh? The universe been watching all of you. Now, Melissa, source sits high from above and looks down on its actual subjects that are there. And it's trying to find one mankind that's actually in the upright. And you just happen to come up against that one in this scenario. <laughs> so, Sora said, oh, it's a done deal, Melissa. Yeah, I, I got some ASS whooping the hand to you. I've been waiting, waiting. <laughs> Keep on waiting, waiting for Melissa to change. So, Melissa ain't changing. So we keep on waiting, waiting for Melissa to change. She still ain't changing. So I say, you know what, Melissa? You ain't changing, girl. You ain't changing. I got to do it. I got to do it. Yeah. Dear source. <laughs> the scene not of pentacles you pay to go take someone out is the same one that's taking you out. <laughs> it's how I pay you to go and destroy their platform. Block their work. I pay you to fire her and her. And he thought about it. He said, hold up now. You want me to go and destroy who? Uh, someone that actually does their work. They're actually happy to be doing their work. They didn't do nothing to you. They're innocent. You want me to? He said, uh-uh. Nah, he put an end to that circle real quick. He thought about it. He said, let me. You know how uh, uh, Shanae be thinking in Martin? <laughs> he said, <laughs> You know, other eye rolls. Like, yeah, I know Martin. Remember how Sinead be thinking? Let me think about it. <laughs> yeah, let me, think, let me think about it. He said, mm-mm. Uh-uh. I don't want no problem. Yeah, he, he came and washed. He put an end to this real quick. Whoever Melissa is trying to destroy is someone that's in the public eye. And whoever the new person is, she paid to take that person out. They came and watched you, saw you. They said, mm, mm I think not. I smell BS. I don't want to be part of it. <laughs> he turned his nose to the other side. He said, mm-mm, and clenched his nostrils. <laughs> he said, mm-mm, I don't want to be part of that. Go find somebody else to do it. So Melissa is out here desperate to find people. But the whole group, oh, they're going through it. And ain't nobody escaping. I know they're trying to be practical and put an end to all the burdens, the lies, the deceit, manipul manipulation, trying to live in their truth. Baby, the truth is out. Whether you all tell the truth, don't tell the truth, it's out. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Hey, it's too late to apologize. Yeah, it's too late. I don't know what to tell you all. It's too late. And I don't think anyone is sit listen, I don't think anyone in the collective is sitting around waiting for an apology because we know you all don't even mean it. You forgot we can read your minds. I can read your mind, babe. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> it's not all right. <laughs> it's not alright, but we know what you're thinking. We know you're disingenuous. You don't care to apologize. What you're apologizing for is the fact that you got busted. Like Ghostbuster. Who do you call? 
Ghostbusters. Our ancestors are the Ghostbusters out here. I told you, you paid a knight of pentacles. <laughs> you paid. <laughs> you paid a knight of pentacles and he looked. Yeah, he looked at that sucker. He said, wait, wait, wait. Let me look farther into this stuff. Because something ain't adding up. I smell some fishy. Melissa smells like, like BS. Hold on, hold on. He looked into it real good. He said, mm, 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 Melissa, Melissa, girl, I'm gone. I'm gone. I don't want to be part of your rituals and your lies. Out here lying about a, about a whole healer that's in the upright. <clears throat> he said, mm, 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 I smell BS. I got, I got to get out of here. I got to get up. I'm telling you, he got away from a Melissa. He got away from Melissa. He said, stay away from me. <clears throat> I don't know you. He probably disconnected his number, changed his number, blocked her number. Can't get a hold of him. This is causing a tower for Melissa. Now Melissa got to figure out how she's going to make it. Because this is Melissa's future. Girl, as above, so below. Your future was already predicted. And it already manifested in the spirit. And now it is time for it to manifest in the physical. That emperor that has been gun hole and blocking people's future and their abundance. Baby, he's about to lose everything as well. Because the angels are on that behind. They said, bring that out of there, boy. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring that. <laughs> it's snatching him. <laughs> Slowly back to the spirit realm. They said, oh, this pool here. <laughs> This pool, you're going to feel it. it They're doing it slowly right now. Like, when it's time, it's going to be that. He won't even know what hit him. He'll just blink and he's in the dream world. Like, oh, uh, okay. Mm, okay. Okay. There's an emperor that's sick behind the scenes. You ain't getting no better. It's the end for you, sir. You came after the wrong... Oh, yeah, it's the end. You came after the wrong one. It's the end. It's the end of the road. Return of the mic. Hey, I'm telling you all. Oh, you're trying to trap this, this brother. Oh, yeah, these people here, honey, I don't know what the heck is going on. They don't want to be part of your shenanigans anymore. They're done. You're stuck. Oh, your family ain't doing too well, girl. Damn. Source said, boom, 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 boom. You're being disobedient. I told you to sit down. We put you in time out too many times. I see why these terror readers be telling us the time out is not working. Boom, 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 boom. Melissa. <laughs> And the family, the whole family, the whole family. Dang, 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 dang. Mm, I cannot. Melissa, why would you do this to yourself? Why would you do this to yourself? Now you're out here living in fear because something is being balanced out and you're being left out in the cold, rejected and crying because there's a communication that's going to be going on that's going to lead to some type of conf like defeat, not confusion. De I mean, you're confused, but this communication that's coming in is going to put an end to everything that you've been doing, baby, to juggle someone's work, manipulating someone's work and their image. It's the end of the road for you. It's the end of the road for you. It's the end. Farewell, farewell. Now, I wish I knew my Shakespeare. Farewell. Farewell, Melissa. Goodbyes. Oh, goodbye, Melissa. Goodbye, his lover. He said, you are never a true lover. <laughs> You've been a devil in disguise. Yeah, you've been a devil in disguise, girl. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. You play your role real good. Good, good. You were committed to it, too. Listen, I'm telling you, you are... Collective, be careful. While I'm picking up on a king of pentacles that may be wanting to apologize to you, mend things, there could be one that's wanting to meet with you to cause a tower. Like someone is trying to come in to trick you. So 
be very very careful there's something to where it's like some type of revelation is going on about who you are like people know you are an empress and people have been plotting to end you and they're still plotting to end you but ain't nothing coming into fruition these people are plotting your ending and when i say ending i mean as far as taking you out of here <laughs> but this is your destiny okay this is your destiny there's something that someone is doing behind the scenes in favor of you, but I'm not going to speak on that. I'm glad that they are not even showing up here. I saw them when I was shuffling, coming in, and I said, you know what? I'm going to hush on that. But, baby, these people are plotting your ending. And someone is also finding the truth out that you were betrayed heavily. You were lied on. There's something where it's that people try to set you up. And make it look like you were some way or you did something you had nothing to do with. Okay. So it's the end of the road. Oh my Lord. These people are going through it behind the scenes. The burdens, the endings, the karma, the towers. It's like back to back to back to back. And there's a king of swords here that's been collaborating with these people. And they're all going through a tower. But trying to cause a tower for our impressed energy. But they've all been working together. And they're all trapped. Ain't no way out of this. Ain't no way out of this. A group of people or there's a couple that's being investigated. There may be a couple trying to go on the run. Or they're trying to sneak away from a situation that they created. You ain't getting nowhere. You ain't getting nowhere. Okay? You ain't getting nowhere. You're going to have to pay the piper. The piper is here to collect. Somebody's got to pay the piper. Y'all know how it goes. You collect from the piper, the piper comes and comes back to collect. The devil never gives you anything for free. There's always something being <clears throat> expected in return. So the piper is here to collect. Nobody has anything to pay back. I hope you all didn't think you were going to be giving up a divine being. Uh, yeah, that 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 math don't never be mathing as far as sources concerned. How his collective bank account is set up how his star c earth angel babies bank accounts are set up <laughs> insufficient funds when it comes to them being collateral no 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 it's going to be one of you a family member a favorite pet your job your stability your resources your luxury because all you care about is money it's going to be stuff like that your health yeah, but as far as it being a star sea earth angel baby being used as collateral for the devil, no, you're lying to yourself. That's why the whole truth is being exposed, all your toxic ways. There could be a king of swords here that's in the upright and is telling the truth about everything. Melissa has been doing behind the scenes. A group of people have been doing behind the scenes. Maybe he's been investigating some type of event that took place that was not supposed to take place and he's asking questions you are you feel invincible because you got numbers you never know who it is you're talking to sometimes there are people that are working undercover and they know how to play that role and they talk to you and you don't know that they are doing an investigation and you give them that you know Mm -hmm. that, that little bitty information you think is irrelevant and then lo and behold it opens up a whole can of worms and the investigation takes off well you look at that so there is absolutely someone looking into this somebody's looking into it and they're going to be balancing things out by the way melissa i think that's why you're worried this is why you're at a stalemate you're having difficulties moving on because your lies every lies you've been telling is being exposed yeah 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 melissa honey i get a pleasure out of doing these reads because you just keep coming up you like attention that's what i've picked up on your energy you like attention you you want to be seen you want to be seen you want you like attention oh girl the narcissism is too much too much is wanting to be beautiful, but when you're beautiful and desperate, you ain't so beautiful. You you you, you got to be a little bit <sighs> exclusive, girl. Exclusive. Don't be out here embarrassing us women. 
be reserved. Like you, you like a little bit too much attention and you don't even have anything to show when the attention is put on you. You don't got no type of gifts or nothing. You got to go learn a talent or something. Something, something, sister, something. You can't be out here asking for attention. And then when people look at you, they say, okay, she ain't doing nothing. Just another pretty face. It's a lot of pretty faces out here. What else is there, Melissa? What else is there? What else is there? Nothing? Okay, I think I'm going to go to the next channel, Melissa. Okay. And the inst I don't know if you work for an institution, girl. They know you, you don't got no talents. You're losing sponsorships. I don't know what this has to do with. But you're losing partnerships. You're losing a whole lot. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Damn. Just like that. Oh, it's a couple going through a tower here. This is you. Let, let me tell you all what's about to happen in the future. Melissa, girl, you're going to fall ill. It's going to be hard for you. Hard knock life. And you're going to have to find your way up out of that illness. Because it's going to be hard, hard. You drink a lot from what I'm picking up. You may want to put a hook on that. Okay, if you have a kid, he needs you to be a better parent or she needs you to be a better parent. I saw a male, a male child in a dream, so I don't know what you have. It could be somebody else's child, but you're going to fall sick in the future. Um, it's a king of, let me, let me fix my camera. It's a king of pentacles here, but to be refusing an offer from a king of cups, because baby, he knows he's disingenuous. There's a king of cups around a king of pentacles that's been pretending to be a friend. They is not a friend. They are the enemy. Someone has been being paid and coerced into doing things, saying things. So, yeah, he's going to be rejecting whoever his friend is in the near future. Okay. Okay. It's a standstill. Okay. There's a king of swords. I don't know if this one is in the upright or not, but you're going to be at a... You're going to be stuck, stuck in some type of situation you've created for yourself. Your finances is about to be real funny looking. This is karma. You've been playing with someone else's finances, trying to set someone up. It's the end of the road for you. But I have to manage, like budget, 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 budget. Like my ancestors be telling me, girl, you got a budget. I said, I'm working on it. I'm doing it. I don't have a choice. I got a budget. So I've been budgeting. budgeting. So... Mr. King of Swords, you're going to have to budget. I don't know if you're the one in the upright or the one in the reverse. I really don't care. I, more than likely, the one in the reverse with that Knight of Cups coming after you in the reverse. Mr. King of Swords in the reverse, you're going to have to budget. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Oh, Lord. Oh, baby. The whole family. You're about to be out here looking a dang fool. No money. Family may be separated if this is a couple about to go through a divorce, falling from grace. Baby, I don't know what to tell you. Or whoever was being held on a pedestal, that those days are long gone. Maybe that was Melissa. Maybe it was the couple. Maybe there was an emperor behind the scenes pretending to be someone of high honor. Baby, that's all over. It's all over. Queen of Pentacles, girl, I don't know what to tell you. We, we, we've been warning you a whole long time ago. I told you to just leave it be. You don't listen. You're out here throwing temper tantrums, having a mental breakdown, all kinds of stuff, but you still want to be seen as someone genuine. Girl, you got to cut it. You got to cut it. Okay? And whoever this empress is you are applauding on, baby, it ain't going in your way. It, it's not going in your favor. I know you are applauding to take an empress out. But you want them flat out. Unalived. And somebody that's going to take that bribery is going to wish they never. Never did. Because people know now that an empress is actually genuine. That's the big revelation. She's actually an empress. Oh my God, you told us she was not. You told us she was pretending this whole time. That's why you got to go find out, for, go see for yourself. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you in my next read. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.